In this video, we are going to be looking over this Canon SureShot 80 Tele Date 35mm film camera. And in order to test it out, I have a battery and a scrap roll of film, and we are going to do all of the things here that you would probably want to do if you had this camera in your hands and were trying to assess condition. So let's get started. First of all, we are going to load the battery, and there's a battery slot right here. I'm just going to pop that door open and put in, this is a type 1, 2, 3 battery. Door snaps shut. And we see on the back here in the date, it comes up to January 1st of 94. So, of course, we want to fix that because it's much later than that. So there's a little tool on the end of the uh, wrist strap, actually a long strap, and we can use that to push these little buttons here. I'm going to push the select button and now the 94 is flashing and we can go up here and set that. It's going up through the years 18, 19, 20, 21 Oop, I went past it, but now it's at 23. Let's just see how far it goes. 5, 26, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and then back to 94. So uh, um, it's good for a few more years. I'll just run it up there and, and uh, 21, 20, 22, 22, then you hit the select, and then you're able to select the month, and I'm going to uh, go to five, and then hit select again. You can hit the get the the date, and we're going to go up to shooting this on May 27th of 2022. So there we are. So there it is, 22, 5, 27, and if you don't like it like that, there's a little mode button. I prefer 5, 27, 22, so we'll just leave it like that. And then we can open up the back here, and before we load the film, let's just look at the back here. Um, everything looks good to me. This camera doesn't require a lot of foam light seals because everything kind of uh, mates and, and uh, so that's really nice. There's no foam around these edges to go bad. A little foam right here around this window and that feels good to me. So that's good. So we'll take this little roll of scrap film and drop the, the cartridge in on that side. Put the tail in over here. Make sure that's going to stay and close the door. Then we can turn it on, and that's right here. And there we see it wound to picture number one. So now we are free to take a picture. And then it wound to picture number two. Now let's try a few things here. Let's make it uh, Let's make it flash, so I'm going to put it on where it's forcing it to flash. And it certainly did. Now, let's set it to uh, the self-timer position. And we'll just set this out here, and then we can see the light over here is flashing, and we'll just let it complete its cycle. And there it did. We should check to make sure the zoom works. So we've got a out and in here. So let's zoom in. The lens comes out and then the lens goes back. And I did verify that the uh, viewfinder zooms with that as that moves. So I think what we're going to do now is just shoot the remainder of the pictures on here. There's, It's up four. I think there's only about seven on this little short roll. I 
It's at seven. Let's try one more. I think that reached about the end. Well, it shows eight, so let's do one more. Well, there's the end. So now the film is rewinding. Back to zero, and it goes a little beyond that just to make sure it's all the way back in. Um, so now we know it's safe to open the camera and take that film out, and it has all rewound back into the cartridge. So now I'm going to I'm going to officially turn the switch off so that the lens will retract and the the lens covers will go into place. And then I'm going to pop out that battery since that's not included in the sale. But all in all, it's, it looks like a pretty good example of the Canon SureShot 80 Tele with date. And uh, everything that we just tried worked just the way I would have expected it to.